War is merciless and death comes easy in the battlefield. Innocent civilians are just as much in danger as combatants are. And journalists who cover wars and conflicts sometimes end up paying the ultimate price for their duty. War correspondents put their skin into the rugged crucible of a conflict. It is the job of a conflict correspondent to capture the terrible violence and to narrate about the shattered lives of the people who are caught in the horrors of a conflict zone. But sometimes, journalists themselves end up becoming the story. Shireen Abu Akleh, a 51-year-old Palestinian-American woman journalist, born in Jerusalem, was a household name and face across the Arab world. She was the first woman correspondent of the Khatar-based channel, who through a commanding and meticulous reportage, had brought the stories of war and conflict from the occupied Palestinian territories. On the 11th of May, the veteran journalist was shot dead with a bullet in her face. The channel that she worked for has described her killing as a clear-cut case of cold-blooded murder. Shireen Abu Akleh was doing her job. She was documenting the terrible details of a raid by the Israeli forces in the Palestinian city of Jenin. Another journalist, Ali al Samudi, was also wounded by a bullet in the back, but is now said to be in a stable condition. Arab leaders, including the Emir of Qatar, have squarely blamed the Israelis for Shireen's killing. Now, the Emir of Qatar has called for accountability on those who have perpetrated this murder. The Israelis have denied having any motive to kill Shireen Abu Akleh, but they've agreed for a joint investigation. But the horrific killing of Shireen Abu Akleh highlights the dangers the journalists throw themselves into while covering war and conflict. In just the occupied Palestinian territories, according to the Palestinian Ministry of Information, at least 45 journalists have been killed since 2000. In the ongoing war in Ukraine, at least 23 journalists have been killed so far, seven while they were on assignment. In Mexico, at least about 11 journalists have been killed while documenting the violence of the gang wars since the beginning of 2022. And according to the Committee to Protect Journalists, at least about 2,150 journalists and media workers have been killed in the last 30 years across the world just for doing their jobs. War spares no one who enters a war zone. And for war correspondents, telling the story of people caught in a war zone can sometimes come at a very heavy price.